Our county jails, state-run torture chambers. Well, hell yes, they are. What's happened in your county? We need to uncover the truth and stop the cover-up. At least for my son's sake, I do not want Glenn's death to be in vain. Amen. Two years to the date of his death, the family, a former New Orleans Saints football player, Glenn Foster Jr., have filed a 25-page civil rights wrongful death lawsuit. Now, that lawsuit is against Pickens County, Alabama, the Pickens County Sheriff's Office, County Jail, and the officers involved in the alleged torture of Foster. The family alleges Foster suffered repeated abuse and torture while in custody, and according to the lawsuit, Foster was wrestled to the ground during the arrest and hit his head on the concrete. Now, while he was in custody, Foster's family negotiated a conditional bond for him to receive medical care. The sheriff's office refused to release him, and Foster was rebooked on charges related to an alleged incident with a fellow inmate. He remained in jail for over 24 hours, where he allegedly endured excessive tasing, being strapped to a chair, put in a headlock, and choked to the point of unconsciousness. Ronald Green's mother was at the press conference earlier today to show her support to Foster's family. We're angry beyond words because we've lost. You have devastated our families. We hurt. We hurt. There's no turning back. We live differently because of what's happening in the States. It's condoned killing. According to the lawsuit, it is believed that during the transport to the medical facility, Foster was forcibly pushed and yanked into the transport vehicle while he was shackled with handcuffs and metal chains around the wrist, ankles, and waist. A judge issued an order for Foster to undergo a psychiatric evaluation. When he arrived to Northport Medical Center, he was slumped over, discolored, and foaming at the mouth and nostrils. Shortly after, he was pronounced dead. The family's pushing for the release of the body camera footage in the case. Oh, yes, so the family's pushing for the release of the body camera footage in the case. Isn't it amazing? Do you know why they can't just readily have that footage? Of course you know why. 